some games, you know, you have pitching dominates for you. Some games, hitting. The last couple of games, you've uh, been able to get both. And that must be a pretty good way to start the season. No, it is. You know, I told uh, told the team just, uh, you know, Bart Nicky kind of set the tone in the first inning. Thought he threw the ball better this week than he did last. Uh, you know, no hits, no walks, six strikeouts. Uh, and then to jump on them early in the first inning just kind of set the tone for the uh, whole day. But, uh, you know, felt like everybody uh, did a nice job, and uh, now we can move on. Was the plan going in to limit the innings for Barton? Yeah, yeah, we just kind of wanted to have him available this weekend. And so 37 pitches is kind of perfect, and that will allow us, uh, you know, a chance to have him uh, this weekend. So there's a possibility we'll probably see him out of the pen this weekend against Georgia? Uh, yeah, probably, you know. I mean, I think uh, he'll, he'll definitely be be available to do that. Jackson Finley uh, gets the win through some nice breaking balls, and, and we got to see him do some other things out there, too. Yeah, Finley's a great athlete, you know, and, and uh, he's, you know, last couple times out, the ball's come out of his hand really good. We like him a lot. I, you know, I, it, 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 he'll be a guy that's going to be tough uh, right now just to get him at bats. So to be able to keep him in the game, get him a couple at bats, uh, you know, that'll that'll pay off and help him. But we like him a lot and think he can help us a couple different ways. The last few games you guys have been carrying the cover off the ball. Was this something you possibly expected with the mixer, mixture of these young guys and some of these veteran players? Well, you were hoping to see that, you know, and some of these young guys have, uh, you know, come on pretty good, Compton and Reed for sure. Uh, you know, uh, Gonzalez, when he's gotten in there, has done real well. So, uh, you know, we think we got a good freshman class and we got to play these guys right now and hope they keep getting better. Every time we come in here, sit down and talk, you know, that same name keeps coming up, Goldberg. Mm -hmm. Three more hits today. It's, it's just. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, uh, his nickname is aptly named. No doubt. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, he's just a really, really good player, and, and uh, you know, can't say enough good things about him. And uh, you know, he just keeps getting hit. You guys have gone to the freshman a lot in the, into the bullpen much of, much of this season. Is that something you expect to do moving forward? I'm gonna have to. I mean, these guys are gonna have to, uh, you know, keep getting in the fire, so to speak, and. Uh, you know, and the more we can get them out there, I think the better their uh, development will go. Anything else? Look ahead to this weekend. Uh, what can you tell us about yours and what you've seen so far? Well, they're a really good team. I mean, they got loaded with pitching. Uh, got a lot of really good position players back. And it just looks like they're playing, uh, playing extremely well. So it should be a great series. And how excited are you to play a three-game series against them instead of just a I think it, you know, is going to be, uh, you know, much more interesting for everybody, for for us, for for them, for fans to, uh, you know, have one game there, one game here, and then one game at uh, Cool Ray. I think that, uh, you know, sets up for a great weekend of college baseball here in our state. Of course, both teams are hot heading into the series, so that, that makes the interest even more. No doubt, no doubt. Right where you, right where you would want to be. Let's put it that way, you know. So. It'll be fun. It'll be a fun series. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Drew, did you? I know you. You have confidence in, in your bat. Did you expect to get off this to this kind of start? Uh, obviously, I want to produce for my team, and I surprised myself a little bit. I was trying to stay within my approach, every at bat, up the middle, and it's just been paying off. Michael, it's now back-to-back -back seasons where your batting average is soaring up to 500 and 600 to start the season. How were you able to get on such a hot start right out of the gates? Just trying to take it pitch by pitch. I mean, it's uh, baseball's a funny game. So, you know, the, sometimes the hits will fall, sometimes they won't. But um, right now, just taking it pitch by, pitch by pitch, trying to see how much I can get on base, you know what I mean? Yeah. Imagine everyone back home pretty excited today to see you and Steven go back to back. Yeah. That's, that must feel pretty good. Yeah, we did it a good amount in high school. So it was cool to have that feeling again in college, and we always talked about doing it in college. So it was a cool moment for us. You guys have absolutely just slammed the ball the last few games. Is that something you guys expect to do throughout the, the season? 
Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sure. we, we got some guys that can hit the ball around for sure. So, uh, and we've been excited, you know, this past weekend and uh, today just showing it off a little bit. And what have you learned about both yourselves and this team as a whole after plating almost 40 plus runs in the past four games? Um, well, I mean, I think we, we play together really well. Um, really proud of our freshmen, really pr proud of guys like this guy um, that are just stepping up and just acting like they've been there before. Normally when you start out the season, coach likes to experiment with the lineup and see how everything fits, but it seems like you got locked in pretty fast this year, you know, once you made the first you know, few changes. Uh, you all feel comfortable with your hitting? Yeah. Um, gave these guys some chances, and some guys really took it and did a great job with it. And then that's a big part of our success. And yeah, I think a lot of guys are in a good spot, for sure. Yeah, your first time going up against Georgia, what have you heard about the series? Uh, they're obviously great history, great program, and I'm excited to see what they have. I heard it's good pitching staff, and I'm ready to, I mean, we got some good hitters, so it's going to be a good game. And what stands out to Georgia the most for hitters like yourself who have been there before? Um, I think it's almost just, it's so competitive. You know, that's what that's what we come to college to do, you know, just compete. And there, there's nothing like the Georgia series. And, you know, they've got good stuff, we've got good stuff, and just time to go out and just play. Are you, are you looking forward to being able to face their best pitchers, which you really, before, it was always their midweek guy? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, their midweek guy is always, you know, good, yeah. but it's um, – it is different having a, a weekend series with them, and you know we're excited to give them our best, and you know we're going to get their best. And we're excited. Are you looking forward to see how you fare against uh, Emerson, Will, uh, Henderson, and Cole Wilcox? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, those guys are we we're talking about it early, and they're going to have good stuff. We're going to prepare for these next two days for you know whatever they're going to have, and we're ready for it. Anything else?